What are you doing to create a better customer service experience for this year, next year, and the years to come? Hi, Shep Hyken, your customer service and experience expert. And today, I'm going to talk about ways that you can improve your customer service in 2020 and years beyond. With all the focus on how technology, which includes uh, artificial intelligence, uh, data personalization, and more, about how this can drive a better customer experience, I wanted to shift my focus back to the basics. I came up with 20 ways that you can up your service game in 2020 and of course beyond. And I decided to split it into two videos. So here are the first 10 of 20 ideas as to how you can create a better customer service experience in the upcoming year. Number one, stay in touch. Now too often companies focus all their efforts on acquiring new customers instead of keeping existing customers. Don't forget about your sold customers. Stay in touch with them on a somewhat regular basis. Depending on the type of business, it may be as infrequent as even just once a year. Number two, send a surprise gift when your customers are least expecting it. Now everybody sends gifts around the holidays. Find other times to surprise your customers with an unexpected gift. It doesn't have to be expensive, just a clever, thoughtful touch that gets noticed. Number three, eliminate long hold times. Don't waste your customer's time. If you must make them wait, let them know how long and give them the option of being called back. Number four, send a thank you note. When was the last time you sent a thank you note? Surprise and delight your customers by sending them the old fashioned handwritten note in an envelope with an address and a stamp. Number five, freaky fast response times. Who doesn't love fast service? Now Jimmy John's, the fast food chain known for freaky fast service and delivery, knows how much customers appreciate speed. Take a leaf out of their book to find ways to be freaky fast for your customers. Number six, do something special for get to know your customer days. Now these days happen four times a year on the third Thursday of the beginning of each quarter. So in January, April, July, and October. Number seven, use video. Video is an amazing tool. As you may have guessed, it's one of my favorites. It's inexpensive and can often be posted for free. Use it for online tutorials, a video version of frequently asked questions, and much more. Number eight, call the customer instead of making them call you for appointments. It's one less thing the customer has to do when doing business with you. Number nine, celebrate National Customer Service Week in the first full week of October. Now, you'll have to wait until October, but that doesn't mean you can't start planning now. And number 10, Share content that is all about the customer and not about the company. In other words, it isn't a sales or marketing piece. Well, actually it is, but it shouldn't feel like it. Well, there you have it. Your first 10 tips to make next year your best year of customer service and experience yet. Now, I'll be back next week with numbers 11 through 20, so be sure to check back then. I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.